we need to talk about Paldea Evolved. Recently, if you guys aren't up to date, it sounds like they are doing a reprint. And now this is coming from like the distribution side and we're gonna talk about like what that means and what you guys need to know, like how big of a reprint, what's gonna happen with the sealed prices, what's gonna happen with the singles. But first off, we're just gonna take a look at where the booster boxes are at currently. Now we are looking at, still seeing some growth over the past three months right here, up 6.7%. In the past month though, it's kind of even. We're seeing this, um, this little drop right here from 143 down into the 130s, but we'll take a look at um, last solds right here. So last solds we're seeing like 139, 144 pretty much uh, all the way down. And if we pull out to the one month, we're still seeing obviously pretty huge growth, 45%. At one point you could have gotten these boxes for $91 um, at, at the low right here it looks like. So yes, reprint coming. Let's take a look at some other stuff and see kind of where things are at. And then I'll tell you kind of where I think things will end up and, and what that means uh, more long term. We have the Pokemon Center exclusive ETPs right here. Um, still seeing some pretty good gains. 10.3% over the past three months and almost 10% in the past month alone and 20% on the last year chart. You could have had this at the low around 78 and now they're going for uh, market says 99 but last sold were 139 139 139 so this has jumped quite a bit on these uh, Pokemon Center ETBs it's because of the stamp promos if you guys aren't familiar but uh, yeah that's a lot of these Pokemon Center ETBs are just kind of taken off right now we'll take a look at some singles this is the Magikarp um, the most expensive chase card from the set and we're seeing a steady decline now and this is going to be the most interesting single for me personally to watch um and i'll well dive into that in a second we'll just pull up the chart for a minute though down 17 percent past three months and another seven and a half over the past month if we zoom out to the one year obviously we're seeing the crazy growth um could have had this for as low as 56 dollars and a high of about 150, which is kind of wild, but it's it's slowly from that point, slowly coming down. Um, last solds, um, looks like 103, 101, 100, so kind of still on the way down. Now this card, if you guys aren't familiar, the, the print quality on the original print run was not very good. So what that means is it, like, um, for graded grading this card, PSA ten copies were have been selling for like six hundred dollars when it's like a hundred dollar card just because it's been that hard to get a ten in. And I made a video a while ago talking about saying hold off on buying the Magikarp because if there's a reprint, the print quality. Um, so the more more recent sets have, we've been seeing much better print quality. Still not where we'd want it. Still not as good as uh, like Japanese, but. So this, this card, singles, um, should be coming down a little. And the Magikarp with the print quality, that's kind of where I'm watching what will be the most interesting, in my opinion, long term. Um, so yeah, the this reprint doesn't look like it's going to be massive. Um, so I'll talk about kind of what to expect, um, like just across the board, but... Yeah, so the Magikarp's the main one I'm watching just because of the print quality. So we'll see uh, if we get that better print quality. Yeah, that will be very interesting for the card. People will be looking for the later print runs. Then we have the Iono, uh, which is kind of tanking, to be honest. Um, down 20% in the past three months alone and 12% in the past month. Uh, and just even in the past year. It was as high as 97 and now it's at its one year low of $58. So just absolutely dropping. So yeah, kind of unfortunate for uh, people who bought back here. Very, very interesting though. Then we have the Raichu, which was kind of popping off for a while. Um, a lot of Paldea was. And we're seeing 16% drops over the past three months and 18 in the past month alone. So. 
Um, yeah, some of these singles. But the huge growth uh, over the last year, 81%. It's kind of wild. You could have got this card for 15 bucks, And at one point, yeah, I remember I thought it looked like it was going to hit $50 um, in that range. And some sold above that price. So, yeah. Um, so it's seeing a steady decline. I don't know where this is going to end up, um, where this is going to bottom out. But cool Pokemon, cool artwork um, from a cool set. So it's falling into a more reasonable range, I think. Then we have the the Tyranitar. This card was getting a lot of love recently too, but we're seeing big drops again. Down 24% over the past three months and almost 20% in the past month alone. Now we're looking at 19% gains in the past year. So overall, still doing pretty good there. Paldea is kind of an interesting set because it has like a lot of good cards, a lot of great art, legendaries like the, the Chiyu here. Uh, we're seeing kind of a similar thing uh, over the past three months down almost 30 percent in the past month down 15 percent and then in the past year obviously still some solid growth overall up 31 percent could have had this card for like 14 bucks ran out all the way up to 40 and now it's down to 20 so a uh, big run up big fall down um so but overall still good gains if you if you got anywhere on this side of the chart then we have the chin pao same similar story down 24% past three months, um, down 13% in the past month, and overall this card is actually down uh, on the one year. It was as high as 28, and now it's down to 21, um, but staying a, a little bit more better in that um, window there. So the, not all cards are, uh, some of the charts are a little different, but overall we're seeing some, some decline. Then we have the Tinkaton, uh, which isn't as bad. 5% down in the last three months and 1% in the past month. A little bit of gain, 7.9% over the past year. And then we have the Skeledurge, which is, um, I really like the artwork on this series of cards. Um, it is up 1% over the past three months and 2.7% in the past month alone. And some pretty solid gains, 10%. Um, on the past year, you could have had this for as low as 10 bucks, went as high as 16, and now it's around 14. Um, nice to see this card sh getting some growth. I think that the artwork from the Foy Coco, the whole evolution line, is super adorable. I think this card will do well long term. Then we have the Sprigatito. This card was popping off a while back. Um, not crazy, but it's kind of on its way down, down 15%, and 21% in the past month alone. Um, it had this little run up. Um, back here went up to 14 almost $15 it was as low as 8 so um, between that point it was some pretty big gains but it's showing 14% growth over the past year then we have the Heracross which is kind of similar this card had a little pop off time down 22% in the past month and we're looking at 17% in the past month alone overall 58% um, increase you could have gotten this card for as low as $6 when as high as 14 so Seen some pretty big swings uh, across the, the way. Um, here's the Fue Coco again. Just wanted to, uh, we got Fue Coco plush over here. Um, but yeah, I like the this whole, everything that's going on with this uh, artwork line. But uh, in the past three months, it's it's up a percent. In the past one month, it's actually seeing some, some growth up around 5%. And then in the past year, almost 10%. Could have had this card for as low as like nine dollar range and it's been as high as 13 so nice to see the the Foy Coco getting a little bit of love and then we have the Suda Wudo uh, this card has been getting hit hard down 37 percent in the past three months and most of that's coming in the last month alone so that's kind of wild that's some big drops there um, it's pretty much flat though over the past year which is interesting it's low was around six dollars its high was around 12 so it like doubled and now it's on its way down so um when a card doubles like that you kind of kind of have to expect that to happen um so that's not totally surprising there so what does this mean um what does this mean so paldea evolved is um obviously by the way i am still in japan 
so different setup everything's looking different sounding different but um we are still in japan we got this guy um at the pokemon center obviously we got we had a very small hotel room so it kind of got stuff stacked everywhere but so what we are hearing from so i do not have a distributor just to be clear and upfront so this information is coming from other people who have distributors but it seems like it's it's pretty well confirmed that this reprint is not going to be massive but it is going to definitely affect the price of the boxes um it looks like this is booster boxes and it's bundled with some other stuff i think with some paradox rift um which is still um if you have distributor access i think gonna be a good deal because i i do think that paradox rift is a good set um so anyways this is looking like it's not going to be as big from what we're hearing as some of the other reprints um, so like price wise I don't think that this is going to drop a ton I think we're going to see um, I would guess we're in like the 140 range like down into the 120s um, possibly a little lo bit lower than that I could see it dropping into the teens but I want to say the 20s um, it should be interesting the market though right now is kind of like it seems like it's shifting towards a lot of the newer product um, and I think we're I didn't forget about Paldea by any means obviously because it's doing very well sealed wise but I think that's why a lot of the singles are, are tanking a little and we should see the singles continue to drop one would think um, so I don't know how low these are going to go I don't know if the Magikarp is going to drop below 100 but I could see that happening. So the the Magikarp, um, a lot of these SIRs, um, since we're gonna be getting, one would assume better print quality that these prices will continue to go down. So the, it's just, I, I don't think massive drops though. Um, I would say, you know, um, 10 to 20% depending, um, yeah, 10, 15, 20% around that range is kind of what I would expect. Singles and sealed. Um, yeah, it's just going to make the product a little bit more available, but it's not it's not a massive reprint. So, um, But yeah, this is kind of what I've been waiting for. I made, I was very vocal about saying I'm staying away from Paldea until the reprint. So um, this is kind of where I'm going to be looking to jump in a little bit more. I do obviously have some Paldea sealed, but... I'm looking up at picking up um, some cases just when the price drops and becomes more affordable. So, um, yeah, I'm looking at entry points. We'll see when this comes out, um, what that actually means, and how the market kind of reacts to it. But, yeah, that is going to pretty much do it for this one, guys. I just wanted to get a little bit of a more normal video. Um, we're still here for a while, and we haven't even done our big, uh, like, we're going to uh, Akihabara and that's gonna be most of the card hunting. Um, that's where I'm hoping to find the CD promo Charizard and um, you know, all the all that other stuff that I am looking to, to get here in Japan. So that stuff is still coming. Um, I'm gonna try and keep doing some more normal videos, uh, hopefully, but we, uh, we got some Disneyland stuff coming up. So I don't know um, how Often I'm gonna be able to post, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try and push out a few more videos to get back to my regular schedule. It's kind of bugging me that I haven't been able to, but um, yeah. So that is kind of where we're at. Our um, our group that we were traveling with is kind of falling apart. Um, I'll probably tell you guys more about that later um, after the trip, maybe. Um, I feel I was feeling a little sick today, not bad, but yeah, just a little a little tired. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. But yeah, that is going to do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never.